Where's that been? I put it straight down on the floor. I kind of thought it was irrelevant what I photographed it next because of the immensity of what it was and where it had been. It was no longer a hammer. It had been imbued with something that was far bigger than its function as a tool. It was, it was like a relic. And that hammer, which he took lunar samples from the moon on Apollo 12 and brought them back to Earth, that hammer he uses to make marks in the texture of his paintings now. It's very interesting because it's almost the same as what he was doing on the moon, chipping away at the rock, and he's chipping away at the paint to create this texture. And what he's actually painting are many of the things that film and cameras couldn't catch on the moon, the experiences that both him and Pete Conrad on 12 and many of the other Apollo astronauts experienced out there. Experiences that weren't caught, that weren't captured on film, and that really just exist as memories to them.